On today's show, forget about all those scare stories of a subprime credit bubble. It's not gonna happen. Honda finally jumps on the autonomous bandwagon, and Audi adds another 48-volt hybrid to its lineup. All that and more coming right up on AutoLine Daily. This is AutoLine Daily, the show dedicated to enthusiasts of the automotive industry. Last year, there were all kinds of media reports warning that a credit bubble was building in the American automotive market. Supposedly, there were too many loans being made to subprime borrowers and that delinquency rates were rising fast. But a new report from Experian, one of the top credit tracking companies in the U.S., says there's no subprime credit bubble. In fact, it says that 30-day delinquencies and subprime lending just hit a 10-year low in the first quarter of the year, and credit scores are higher for both new car and used car loans. And here's another story that contradicts the scaremongers. Some alarmist stories were reporting that too much inventory and too many cars coming off lease were driving down used vehicle prices. But Mannheim, the giant auction house, says that wholesale used car prices in the American market are going up. In fact, they were up 2.6% last month. It says it is seeing that dealers are buying more used cars at auction now than at any time since 2008. You know, when it comes to electric and autonomous cars, Honda has been almost non-existent. But yesterday, the automaker announced it will have level three vehicles for highly automated freeway driving by 2020. By 2025, it will go to level four. Even though Honda is behind other automakers, the test car shown here looks well integrated compared to some of the other autonomous test vehicles we've seen. In other words, it doesn't have one of those spinning doohickeys on the roof or weird protuberances sticking out of the A-pillars. Coming up next, Henrik Fisker is at it again. Auto Line Daily is brought to you by Bridgestone Tires, your journey, our passion. Dow Automotive Systems, advanced materials that deliver better results. And by Lear, a global leader in automotive seating and electrical systems. Henrik Fisker teased his new long-range electric sedan called the E-Motion just the other day. It has a very feline appearance highlighted by its panther-like running lights. Fisker also notes there's LiDAR integrated into the center of the front fascia, which indicates that this thing is going to be at least semi-autonomous. He claims the E-Motion will get up to 400 miles of range, and with the company's unique charger, it can get 100 miles of range in just nine minutes. It looks good from what we see so far, and it's going to be really interesting to see how big the battery pack is and what kind of power its ultra-charger system really puts out. Speaking of teases, we can't leave out that Elon Musk revealed this picture of the upcoming Model Y crossover. The CEO also dropped a few other nuggets of info, like the Model Y, a CUV smaller than the Model X, will be built at a new factory since its current assembly plant in Fremont, California is at capacity. The Model Y will show up in 2019, but Musk expects more demand for the Model 3 than for the Y. That suggests the Model Y will cost more than the 3. Automakers are under a big crunch to meet stricter fuel economy standards, and a great solution to meet the targets is a 48-volt mild hybrid system. It provides 80% the benefit of a strong hybrid at 20% of the cost. And that's why the next-generation version of Audi's flagship sedan, the A8, will come standard with a 48-volt system. It's comprised of two main components, a water-cooled 48-volt belt alternator starter to complement the conventional starter, which is only going to be used for cold starts now. And second is a lithium-ion battery in the luggage compartment to store energy from the hybrid system. And thanks to the system, engineers have developed several ways to eke out every mile per gallon. It can enter a noiseless coasting mode at speeds between 34 and 100 miles per hour, with the engine shutting off for 40 seconds. Start-stop is active at 14 miles per hour and comes with a predictive feature that starts the engine when the car in front of the A8 moves, even if the brake pedal is still being pressed. 
The new A8 makes its debut at the Audi Summit in Barcelona next month. As we keep saying, some of the best technology in the automotive industry is actually developed by suppliers. And we'll show you two examples of what we're talking about right after this. At Bridgestone, our engineers want to help make sure you're not stuck on the side of the road. Our revolutionary drive guard tires are engineered to take a puncture and drive up to 50 miles. Ready to go. Watch our latest Archer demo at BridgestoneTire.com. Whether it's on television, online, or through social media, AutoLine knows how to effectively get your marketing message to the people you want to reach. Contact Stacy Eman today. Fully autonomous vehicles will radically change the interior of a vehicle, since you won't need things like a steering wheel or pedals. This will really open up the inside of any vehicle to new configurations. But keeping occupants safe will remain a priority. And to help do just that, the supplier company ZF developed a seat with an integrated center airbag that works with or without a center console. The airbag deploys from the shoulder area of the seat back and is intended to keep a passenger from flying to the center of a vehicle in an impact from the opposite side of the car. The supplier company Delphi is creating a new automated on-demand mobility service with TransDev, one of the global leaders in mobility services. It kicks off later this year in France and will have a human on board at first, but the goal is to go fully autonomous sometime next year. The service will use two Renault Zoes as autonomous taxis and a self-driving shuttle will be used to transport passengers to a rail station. The companies also plan to bring the service to North America, but no timetable is set. Hey, don't forget to join us this afternoon for AutoLine After Hours. We'll do a deep dive into the all-new Lincoln Navigator, and we'll have Andrew Kernahan, the Chief Program Engineer, to give us all the details. Dave Sullivan from Auto Pacific will also be on the show, so join John and Gary to get an insider's view of what it took to develop the newest Lincoln that comes out later this year. That brings us to the end of today's report. Thank you for watching.